Let's check this out. Let's go to step number one again. That's to find the radius. Now there's our diameter. What is it? 65. So half of that is going to give us the radius. So from there to there from the center is going to be R equals half times diameter We know half times uh, diameter is half of 65, and that's going to be 32.5 for the radius. Okay, we have our radius there. Now, all we need to do now is write this up over here so it's easy to find when we need it. Okay, let's get the area of that face, that orange face, that semicircular area across there. Now we know the area for a full circle is pi r squared. And if you didn't know that, now you know it. And so we're just going to halve that, aren't we? So let's do that. Let's go for the area of this orange semicircular face. There's our radius again. And always remember to square it because it's a half times pi times 32.5 all squared. And that's going to give us an answer of a half times pi times 32.5 squared equals on your calculator for all of that is going to give us Okay, there's our front face right over there. Now later on, we're going to double it because we've got the face at the back. So it's both those faces are the same. So we're going to need to double that later. So just remember, there's two semicircles attached to this semicircular cylinder. Now let's go back over to step number two. And that's to find the guts underneath the floor, the underneath part here, which is a rectangle. Let's work that out. That's going to be length times breadth, and that's so 65 times 31 on your calculator is going to yield 2015 centimeters squared. There's our area for the rectangle underneath. Now, what do we need to do next? Well, we've got to get to the next step, which is to find the area of this curved surface coming all the way across there. That's a half cylinder. So that's going to be <coughs> a half of <coughs> Now the area of a full cylinder, the curved cylinder part all the way around, is 2 pi r h, and we're just going to halve that because obviously it's a half cylinder, yeah? So let's work that out. That's going to be a half times 2 pi r times h. So let me just bring this up over here. So 1 half. And the height. which is the height going across that way there. That's the height there, 31 in there. So let's put the numbers in there. And the radius again, right over there, 32.5. And we multiply by the height, which is 31. There's the height again, that's 31. So let's multiply all that across. 
Just separate that. Okay, one half times two times pi times 32.5 times 31. That's a really long one. And we're looking for that curved surface coming all the way around there. So that's going to give us an area of the curved surface all around there. The half curved surface all there is going to be Okay, that's that area. Okay, now we need to add everything up, but before we add all those surfaces up, we need to multiply the area for this orange bit over here by two, because there's another half semicircle around the other side there. So remember we got 165915, we multiply that by two, That's or we write it up twice. Let's do that, let's write it up by twice, that's gonna make it a lot easier. So let's add them all together. So we are adding, this one here times two, so we write that down twice. So that's going to be there's the two semicircular areas. Then the base underneath, that's going to give us a grand total of here. There's the base, the square rectangular base, if you remember. Yep. And then we have the curved surface, which we worked out just up here. Okay, this is going to give us the grand total, the complete and entire surface area for all of this, all four faces added together. There's the two faces there for the two semicircles, the front and the back. There we have the 2015, which is underneath. And finally, we have the curved part on the top. 3165.15. Let's put them all in the calculator. That's all going to add up to all together in one hit is in centimeter squared. Take a minute to check out our website at http colon forward slash forward slash www.vividmaths.com. You'll find additional resources, cheat sheets, transcripts, and other maths videos that are not available on YouTube. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to get access to all the written answers for your maths questions plus other special offers.